Welcome back, fellas, into this new video of TechExpress. Today, let's get started with something really, really easily, which is creating an Amazon account without having to use a phone number. So Amazon requires you to add a phone number for increased account security, especially for sensitive actions like buying digital goods or selling bypassing. This is difficult. But there is a way to create a basic account using only an email address. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to leverage um, the initial sign up process to avoid using your personal phone number, but we won't because Amazon will be likely prompt for your phone number later for security purposes. So, first thing is to sign up for the actual page. You want to open your web browser, go directly here into Amazon.com, uh, hover over into account and list, and this will be telling you how we can actually get started, which is hey, let's identify yourself. I'm gonna head back. You can go all your way down and choose the country where would you like to get started. Usually, let's say for example, you go for United Kingdom. I go for open this and hello once again, sign in. And here's the part where we can start by creating an actual account. So here, what I need to do is to choose an actual email to sign up. It says you are new into Amazon. Let's create an account using your email. So I go for proceed to create an actual account. Now here it might be asking you to enter a mobile number or an actual email. Fortunately, we're able to add only a email, my actual name, an actual passcode, and to re-enter the same passcode. Once I finished, I go for verify the actual email. So notice the field uh, is labeled as mobile or email. This is the key because while the default setup might favor a number, we will prioritize the email. So here you enter your full name, you enter a strong passcode, click into verify the email, check your inbox, Amazon will be sending you a one-time passcode code. So encode this code back into the Amazon verification screen and you have now successfully created an actual basic Amazon buyer account. This is just for security purposes. Go for submit, solve the partial to protect your current account. So you have now successfully created an actual basic account uh, without providing an actual personal uh, phone number, which is something we actually make uh, looking for. Now, Amazon will still prompt you at a phone number uh, every time you try to enable two-factor authenticator, which is highly recommended for security uh, purposes. Um, if you absolutely needed to use a phone number later without giving your primary one, you can actually use a secondary uh, phone number. So search for free or low-cost BOIP option that can receive text messages. To get started with this element, what I need to do, of course, is to make sure that I have access for that. I can open a new tab, for example. I can go for low cost BOIP options that can receive text messages. So this is just for verification process and, and you basically you need to pay a lot for that. We have Dial Path, there's a Ring Central, there's Zoom even, there's a Google Voice Standard, and so much more. So uh, something else, for example, just a quick warning, because if you lose access to this temporarily BOIP in the future, you will lost access to your account and even to recovery process. It will be going to be really, really hard. So it's going to be really important to get a secure risk you must accept. If you plan to sell into Amazon Seller Central, this is going to be really important to provide an actual phone number. So there's no safe workaround for this professional account. I know that everybody don't want to provide, let's say, uh, too sensitive content. But if you're going to be using Amazon a lot, if you're going to be selling here into Amazon, the best way to get started here into Amazon is to generate, for example, buy just a phone number only to receive calls and messages and to keep that phone around into your account. So. Uh, while you can create a basic buyer account with just an email, remember that your secure level will be lower without two-factor authentication tied to a reliable uh, number. So did this basic account sign up for you? Let me know in the comments below. If the workaround was helpful, you can hit the like button and subscribe to Express. Thank you once again for watching the video guys and hopefully with all of this being said, we can see you next time.